Is this going to be the Google killer? Google's had a monopoly on search for as long as I can remember, which is a long time. Well, imagine if Google and ChatGPT had a baby. OpenAI just made that a reality with their new prototype, Search GPT. Now, this could be a game changer. What is it? What does it do? Why is this important? And how can you get your hands on it? Let's talk about it. Okay, so what's all the fuss about? Well, OpenAI just dropped a bombshell, their new prototype, Search GPT. It's designed to give you fast, accurate answers with clear, relevant links. No more hallucination, maybe? Not only that, it even organizes information into summaries, sources, and even images. This is more than just a search engine like Google. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a sneak peek that OpenAI is giving us. Let's check it out. Super simple. You type in your query, hit enter, and boom, you get a neat, organized response. No more endless scrolling. Mm -mm. It's not just a bunch of links. It's organized information with summaries, sources, and even images. So here's an example. Let's say you're searching for festivals in North Carolina in August, 2024. You get a neat little summary with descriptions and all the juicy details that you're going to need. It's going to be up to date, relevant, and it's going to share all of this in a conversational tone. So you really feel like you're talking to a person. And not only that, you can continue the conversation. Check out this example. As you ask more questions, you build context with Search GPT. This shared context will help it answer your further questions and continue the conversation. So it's kind of like talking to a person. What I really like about this example is when the user asks about the temperature, Check out this very user-friendly UI. I am loving these icons. Okay, let's talk features. Apart from the really slick looking interface, Search GPT also has autocomplete, tool tips with source info, and a panel showing you all the references. Now there are continuous debates about content scraping and how AI tools are using this information. Well, Search GPT is trying to tackle this head on. OpenAI is teaming up with big time publishers like Atlantic Publishing so that they can choose how their content appears within Search GPT. This way, they're not only providing relevant information, but they're also being respectful of content creators. Okay, here is the juicy part. Google is feeling the pressure as they should. This is going to be the tech showdown of the century and I can't wait to see who lands on top. So how can you get your hands on this? Well, right now it's a prototype and it's only been released to about 10,000 users, but you can put yourself on a wait list. All you need to do is just pop on over to their site and click the big join the wait list button. Easy peasy. All right, there you have it, the spicy AI gossip. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you think it's better or do you prefer Google? And do you prefer having the link so that you can go through it yourself and choose which one you want to engage with? Let me know in the comments below. If you're AI curious like me, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.